Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to use the find method in in this video. So again, I have an array that's already defined. Let me make this smaller and make this bigger. One second. All right, so let me increase the size of this. Okay. So using the find method, so I have an array of users, an array of um, objects actually, and each object has a name and an ID. Now, here's the question. My here's my question for you. Let me write it down. Find the first occurrence of Alex. Now, there's, several, there's more than one way of doing this, but there is one efficient way of doing it. Find the first occurrence of Alex. Now, some people who do not use ES6 can use for loops. That's one potential way of doing it, for loops. Now, let me show you how for loops would work if you were to use for loop. So, let's create, let me create an array called user list, whatever. Um, this is an empty array. So I say for var, let's use var because I'm trying to be like use the old pure vanilla JavaScript. var x equals zero. x is less than use, um, users. users length. And then x plus plus increment by one. Then I can say if if users x dot name equal alex small small case push this user that push push the you push the users I can say that push that and then let's see how that looks let's see let's see if the solution works user list so basically, I'm I'm saying that the, in this for loop, if if we encounter a name that is Alex, push it. So let me print that out in, in my console, so you will see. Bada boom! So I got two cases, both Alex, one with ID three, one with ID four. And obviously, why? Because the for loop has to go through the whole thing. It just doesn't stop. And that's why. So for loop is really not a good thing to do there. I mean, you can add another condition. You can say, and, you know, user x dot id equals 3. You can do that. This would work. This would work, I think. So let's see. Yeah, that works, but that's a lot of code. It's not as clean. It's also not as pretty. So that's not that's not an that's not this is not an ideal situation. That's a better way of doing this. It's a better way of finding the first occurrence of Alex. So I'm going to remove this. Let's use map. Let's try map. Let's see if map works. No, map is that, that's a, actually you know what? That's the reason why I'm telling you to use it. It's not going to work. However, it's going to give you an array back of boolean, true, true, false, false, false. If you, you know what, let's do it. Map. Now the goal is to use find, but I'm showing you. I'm showing. I'm. I'm intentionally going through other things. That's the goal. Showing you why it's better to use find. So return user dot name equal Alex and then you let's print that out. Map returns an array again, just like okay, let's see. See it returns false, true, false, true. So this let, let me copy what the solution is. This is this is it if you can't see. This is what it returns. False true, false true, which is correct. 
So it's, it's, uh, it's true over here, and it's true in the second and fourth one. That's not what I really want, though. So unless you add another condition, it's, it's even not still, it's, it's really not going to work. So one thing we can do is this, actually. We can use for each. This wouldn't work just like this. Let's do it this way. Because for each does not return an array. You can only do something to it. So you can do that. And then we can say we can say if user that name equal oh what am I doing we can do this no this this should work for each would work Alex so let me clear it out show you what it, it's saying Run it again. Alex, so that works. So for each works. But there's also this something that, that some this is again, this is still a lot of code. All I want is the first occurrence of Alex. And and this is basically saying if for each is going through all of them and returning it. Oh so it's also it's still gonna go through this as well. So it's 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 gonna go through the fourth one, and it's, the fourth one is not what I want. I want the first occurrence of it. So because of that, the best best scenario to use is find. I'm gonna show you why and how to use find. Find user and then return if user dot name. It returns the first case. That's all. That's all it does. Let's clear this. Be beautiful. You see, and we know it's the first case because it gives us the ID as well. Alex ID. If you can't see that, let me copy it. This is what it returns. That's what it returns. Okay. Beautiful. Let's erase this, because this this is ES six. We gotta do it right. Gotta do it the right way. Beautiful. Still works. That's that's how it's supposed to be. One line. ES six. Thank you.